What's going on guys, it's Jaker in the Works Media, whichever you prefer to call me right now, but um, I am doing a video commentary because I haven't done one in forever, and I used to do these all the time, uh, especially in the early spring when the weather was getting nicer, I was doing a lot of these, but then I start kind of stopped because I got too busy, it's a lot easier for me to sit back and uh, just do commentary rather than a video commentary. But since I've done quite a few videos lately, and they, they seem to get boring, they get boring for me to make even, I want to do something a little bit different because I wanted to talk about something that's completely... Um, I guess you could say a little bit controversial, not really for like in the YouTube standpoint, but mainly from the standpoint of what's been going on with the Modern Warfare 3, um, you know, perk releases and stuff. And we're joining this game, uh, I guess you would say about 40 points late, mainly because my PBR got unplugged while I was playing it. And I died a few times, and then I spent like, you know, 20 points looking in the sky while I tried to re plug it back in and uh, get going. But we're using the Galil, and this is a, this game, this game I was going to use as an example of how to do well in Call of Duty. But um, I think I'm going to get a different game for that, because I've been wanting to do one of those videos, mainly because a lot of people always ask me, how, what would you suggest for, you know, just the solid player, how to get better at it. And I'm going to do one of those videos before too long, but that, that's beyond uh, what we're going to be talking about today. Uh, mainly what I, what I wanted to talk about today was that how I think that Activision royally messed up with um, what they're doing with the secrecy behind the Modern Warfare 3 leaked info. Now, um, I could understand if somebody had like beta footage of the game and they were putting it up and you know saying this is confirmed or something like that. But apparently they've been, t they've been uh, putting strikes on any video that even mentions anything speculative or... Uh, I really enunciated that word too much there, but anything that's like, you know, just hearsay, basically, and they've been putting strikes, you know, Woody got a strike the other day, the original poster of that video, I think it was FC2300, uh, don't, I hope I'm not wrong there, he got a strike, he got his video removed as well. So Activision is being really secret secretive about all this information, and they're doing it to the point where they're hurting these channels that, in my opinion, give them a lot of free revenue. You know, I do understand that a lot of a lot of channels make money off their games, and they're probably pretty bitter that they can't get a piece of the pie. But basically, what YouTube does is the hype machine. A lot of people use YouTube and the whole social marketing thing to get the ball rolling on their stuff. And with Call of Duty XP coming up really soon, I really think those videos were really starting to get you know the hype building towards um, Modern Warfare Three. And basically, what it did was is they derailed that because what what I thought they were creating, you know what that video was creating was that it was allowing people to kind of di dissect what they thought you know could be the perks and it, it was getting the, getting people talking about Modern Warfare 3 and just doing that alone I think is enough to warrant um, not imposing a strike on information even if it is accurate because what if what if I did a video where I was completely specu speculating what was in the game and I just happened to get everything right I mean there's no copyright infringement in that I think that um, I think that they really screwed it over because they were losing a lot of the momentum to Battlefield because Battlefield released that insanely nice trailer the other day um, that had the jet gameplay and all that stuff in it and really Modern Warfare 3 hasn't released anything, you know, multiplayer wise. I mean, I know that this their, their usual thing is to wait until, like, you know, September. I know they have the Call of Duty XP thing. But people are wondering, you know, like, here, Battlefield's played their hand, what is Call of Duty going to do? I mean, they've fallen so far behind now, I think that um, they're losing a lot of momentum, because um, <laughs> after GamesCon, I thought, you know, and, the, and after the, the Spec Ops reveal trailer, I thought that they had a lot going for them. I thought that if they would, you know, just throw us a, a little bit more bone um, on some of this multiplayer stuff, they would really get the hype going, and I think that this leak was what they should have you know, been like, hey, okay, this may be accurate, and yeah, we're pretty mad that this leaked, but we can use this in a positive way. Instead, they went, and now this has caused them to just take down anything. Like, um, I was actually informed that one of my Modern Warfare 3 speculation videos where I was talking about some leaked info, you know, way, way back in, like, May, um, I was worried that I was going to get a strike on that, so I actually had to private that video. Um, because I, I don't want to get a strike on my channel over something silly, because they did the same thing with Black Ops. If you recall, um, once a lot of the beta footage and like information about Black Ops started releasing, they were going through giving strikes to people who just, you know, did like a what do I want in Black Ops video, like a special, like, you know, this is what my Black Ops wish list. So um, I was around for all that, and luckily I remained unscathed because I did do a couple of those videos. And it looks like they're doing the same thing for Modern Warfare 3, which I think is bad tactics. A lot of companies would pay so much money to have the hype 
ability that YouTube gives Call of Duty. Like, you know, I'm sure Battlefield would love to have a community that was as big as Call of Duty as far as on, on YouTube because it's just so much free advertising revenue. I bet you so many co of these copies have been sold. You know, I think that YouTube sells DLC. I think that it does a lot for the company. I think by, by hindering something which I consider completely, you know, a free speech act, um, I think that that really, really is going to hurt Activision. I think that, I mean, obviously it's not going to be like pennies falling out of their pocket. They're not going to be losing money out of it. But I think they really missed an opportunity to be like, hey, okay, here you go, community. You do what you want with this information. We're not saying if it's true or not, and, you know, not even done anything. But by taking it down, in my opinion, all they did was confirm that a lot of that information was probably accurate. And I don't think too many people argue with that right now. I think that a lot of people do think that that's accurate information. And uh, me personally, like I said, I don't want to talk about the perks right now. I will talk about the perks after Call of Duty XP, but right now, since it's all speculative, I'll let other people handle that. Um, there's plenty of people that are going out doing these, you know, breakdown videos and stuff like that, which, you know, even Robert Bowen himself said that uh, he was cool with people doing breakdown videos. So, okay, you can do a breakdown video, but you can't do a speculation video on why, um, what you think these perks are going to do and talking about these uh, supposedly leaked perks. So basically all Activision did was confirm that a lot of that information was true in my eyes. So, I don't know. That was just my beef on it, and that's all I really wanted to talk about. I hope you guys enjoyed the video portion of this, like doing a video commentary. I feel like it's a little bit more personal, especially when I'm talking about something that I consider, um, I guess you would say, a little bit more in-your-face type of thing. And you know, it really made me mad when I saw that people were getting strikes for that, because it made me mad when it happened with Black Ops, because they're paying for, they don't even have to pay for this free social media, basically. And um, I think that that's something that they really take for granted. But hope you guys have a great day. Let me know what you thought about the video commentary, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.